This is the free motion quilting tutorial for railroad tracks. This design is stitched by first starting with a wiggly line going all the way around your quilting space. And this is going to end up looking a lot like stippling to start. So just kind of wiggle it around. Um, try not to cross this starting line, although if you do it's really not that big of a deal. This is going to be a nice practice for any type of meandering or stippling kind of design that you want to stitch because it's very forgiving. You can mess up with this and it's no big deal because we're going to actually cover up this entire starting line with the next part of the design. So this is a foundational design. We're going to take this foundational line throughout your quilting space. So if this was a quilt, you take this throughout your quilt or a specific area of a block and really kind of set that foundation so that the rest of the design was very easy to create. Now for the second half of the design, that is to create your actual railroad tracks. Just simply stitch back and forth creating this very boxy uh, graphic kind of design. Just stitching up and over and up and over. Very, very easy. And you can bend and twist these railroad tracks to kind of go around those tight curves that you created in your foundational line. It's very simple and it's actually a lot of fun because once you stitch it a few times you start noticing uh, kind of what you need to do in order to make the first line, the foundational line, easier to stitch back over again whenever you come in with your railroad tracks. So it's a very, very simple design but it has a very interesting look. I think this would be a great design to stitch over a kid quilt, like a little boy's quilt. It's not girly or flowery. Uh, and that's kind of something that boys tend to like. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish railroad tracks. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, please check out the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's at freemotionproject.com.